Hey everyone, it's Jeff from Modern Combat and Survival, and if you're like me, you loves you some everyday carry. So, here are five quick tips for building out your everyday carry survival shoes. Okay, one of the things we talk about in our Covert Survivalist Guide is that when it comes to your everyday carry, you don't want to go around looking like a soldier or some doomsday prepper. You want to have the gear on you, but you don't want other people to notice that you're walking around with this stuff. There's a lot you can do with this. We call this being tactical, but not looking tactical. So there's actually a lot that you can do with your everyday carry that nobody will notice what you have, but you have the tools that you need. And so let me just show you five quick things that you can do, even just with your own shoes, to carry some more everyday carry gear with you that you can use for any sort of a scenario, um, but nobody can really tell, okay? So check this out. Okay, the first thing I wanna point out are the shoes themselves, all right? You wanna have a good a shoe with good traction, something on it that if you need to make a, a fast break for something, or if you need to hike over obstacles or other uh, rough terrain, that you've got something that will be able to handle the task. I like my Merrells, these things last me like through hard, hard times. Uh, year after year, I mean, these things will last a long time. So I like Merrells, but any sort of a hiking boot that you can wear for, for everyday carry, I, I'm a, a big proponent of that. Now, if you have like a business job or something like that, where you have to wear leather soles, something dressier with a suit, um, always have a pair of these uh, type of a boots inside of your vehicle so that you can get to them if you need to. If anything happens, any disaster happens in an instant, you can get to them, put them on, and that way you're not trying to walk through urban terrain or rough terrain in your in your leather dress shoes okay so shoes themselves make sure that you have good traction on themselves now let's get to the cool funky stuff um, one thing that you can do is on the back here you'll see i have a hidden handcuff key so i like escape and evasion gear just in case you're taken hostage or you are in a home invasion or something like that you're tied up you're you're ambushed you're kidnapped or whatever this goes for you and you know anybody that you have in your family so your spouse or your kids or whatever um, I like to have a, um, a handcuff key, a plastic handcuff key. This is a, this is a version that just straps on anywhere. Um, it goes right on the back of my, my loop here. I've done other things where I've hidden them inside of the tag on the, on the front here. There's lots of places that you can put them, but I like to have a plastic handcuff key for escape and evasion if I need it right here. The other thing you can do is, is on the shoelaces themselves, any shoelaces that you get, replace them with 550 cord. Um, I like this idea a lot because number one, it gives you cordage if you need it. If for some reason you're lost, uh, your kids get separated from you know camping or something like that, uh, it takes about five feet of 550 cord for your shoes, for, for hiking boots with seven strands of 550 cord on the interior, that's gonna give you 35 feet of interior strand as well as the five feet of the cord. So that's gonna give you between your two shoes, 80 feet of cordage if you need it, okay? So replace the shoelaces that you have with 550 cord, a bazillion uses for it. I don't need to go into all of that for you. Now notice one thing I have here on the shoelaces. So when I tie them, one other thing I put in here is a, a razor. So I put a piece of duct tape over this so that it doesn't actually um, cut myself when I'm going, you know, I don't have blood, blood stained shoelaces from cutting myself going down. But basically a straight blade razor with two holes drilled into it, if it doesn't already have the holes in it, gives you a cutting device. There's a lot of uses obviously for a razor if you need it. Also for escape and evasion, if you look at it again, if you are somehow zip tied, if you're, if you're tied up, not with handcuffs, but with zip tie or cordage or something like that, I can get down to my shoes either with if my hands are behind me or if they're in front of me. I can untie my laces, get out the, the razor, and be able to cut through any of the restraints that I have. It can also be used as a weapon if needed, but there's also a lot of uses, uh, even survival-wise, for a razor itself. So just take a, a small razor blade, drill two holes in it, put some duct tape over it so that you're not bleeding all over the place, and, uh, and then all you have to do is just, when you go to lace your shoes, just put the shoelaces through through the razor, put it down, tie your shoelaces over it. I recommend that you keep the, the blade up and protected because if it's down, if it cuts through the duct tape just from wear and tear, it'll start cutting into your, your shoes and you wasted an expensive pair of Merrells. Okay, so that's another thing. Now, the fifth thing is actually the shoelaces themselves. So we're gonna go back to, so you can use 550 cord and you get those strands, but there's a really cool item out now over at, um, I got these uh, at survivalshoelaces.com and they're 550 cord shoelaces, 
but they also, on the tip of them, they have a fire starter rod. So with this fire starter rod, if you need to make a fire for any reason, then you have this, you just take off the little rubber tip or just keep the tip off either way. But this is actually a fire starter rod. Now, it actually, their shoelaces, because they are fire starters, come with this razor blade. So the razor blade that I just showed you actually comes with these, uh, with the fire start, with the shoelaces. So all you do is just take this off and then pull off that little, that little rubber thingy. And then what you have is you've got, if you need to, you've got a fire starter right on your shoes. That's pretty cool. I've always used, uh, I've always just used straight up 550 cord, but these actually have another EDC thing built right into them, which is really cool. And the other thing is that it makes it easier to, if you ever try putting 550 cord through some shoelace holes, it makes it really hard. With these tips on them, you don't need to burn it, you know, burnt 550 cord doesn't work really well, but these laces go in really easily. Plus they give you another everyday carry item that you can keep with you. So really, really cool. Comes as a package um, all together, get razor blade and the shoelace is really, really cool. Okay, as you can see, there's a lot you can do with your everyday carry gear so that you can be tactical, but not look tactical. These are just some tips with your shoes. Imagine what you can do with the other gear that you have. So your action items now is check out your shoes and different things that you can do with it based upon these tips. You can go over to uh, survivalshoelaces.com and pick up the shoelaces that I demonstrated for you. Really nifty item, highly recommend it. But now I also wanna hear from you. What different everyday carry gear items do you put on every single day and how do you keep them covert? Go ahead and leave a comment for this video and let us know what your different tips are for your EDC gear. And until our next broadcast, this is Jeff Anderson saying train hard, stay safe, prepare now. Photo, what's the deal with the photo? No, it's still doing photo. No, 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 I know it says photo, but right now it's recording video. You can also do photo. It might be, but it's tr it's doing something different than what I normally do, and the last thing I want is to spend two hours out Should here to find that it did something different. It's weird that it's also following my face. I know, that's what I'm saying. Mmm.